Everybody loves a good road trip. The freedom, the adventure, the surprises. All you need is a great road and a great ride. And we've got them both. Imagine driving on some of the most scenic and challenging roads in the Pacific Northwest behind the wheel of one phenomenal car. Sound too good to be true? It's happening right now on Shut Up and Drive. Hello, I'm Justin Bell. And I'm Townsend Bell. Before you ask, no relation. Hallelujah. But we are here together outside the beautiful Allison Inn and Spa in the heart of the Oregon wine country because we're going on a road trip. We're heading up on what is perhaps every guy's dream drive. Haven't you ever been in the car with your buddy, found a fantastic piece of road and gone, God, I wish I had this all to myself. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're heading up to the world famous Rowena Loops and the road is being closed off just for us. No police, no oncoming traffic. Just the two of us, our own private racetrack. We've chosen the 2013 Lexus Chia Sport Sedan. And you can tell just by looking at this at first glance, it's a real departure for Lexus, a much more aggressive front end look. I'm just wondering, this car looks like it means business. Does it drive as good as it looks? Well, we're about to find out because it's time to shut up and drive. Hey, Justin, why don't you shut up? I'll drive. I can barely contain my excitement. It's the moment of truth here on Shut Up and Drive. Townsend and I are going to battle it out to see who is the Shut Up and Drive champ. We've locked off the Rowena Loops and we've turned this incredible stretch of highway into the most unforgiving race course in the world. No speed limits, no distractions, no excuses. Just the Lexus GS and the Rowena Loops. Townsend is up first and I've got a bird's eye view of his run. Any driver would kill to be in his shoes right now. So what's gonna be fun is we've got these different camera angles for this run, so you're gonna be looking right at me and you're gonna be able to see out the front as well. So uh, we're getting ready to go, we're at the bottom of the hill. Fog's rolling in again. Kind of awful if he got lost, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, Townsend, when you're ready. Three, two, one. heavy on the brakes there. Really nice having that heads up display so I know what gear I'm in. A little slippery through the middle across all of that gravel. Fading out to the edge of the road. Woo, that was close. It's so hard to gauge how quick you're going when you're standing up here. Down to second. Into this tight, long left-hander. And out, go, 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 go! I think Justin's gonna struggle back there a little bit. The bit he's coming up to now is the hardest part, the most treacherous. This is the tight corner with the sketchy exit. There it is, up inside, whoa, Nelly. Very dangerous, intimidating. I hope he's intimidated, I have to tell you. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Looks quite quick, actually. Hang on, 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 hang on. Woo! What was that like? Oh, a little sketchy. I know. Really sketchy. I could see you, couldn't see you, oh. couldn't see you. It was like I could hear the voice. That was amazing. A couple of times I thought I could get in deep and then it was like, whoop. I heard the sound of lots of gravel being thrown out, which yeah, is a good thing. Well, you know. So how did the car handle? Oh man, it's good. You know, we spent so much time in this thing, I had a lot of confidence just knowing where the limit is. So brakes were fantastic. Were they? Yeah. yeah. What about the road? The road is absolute and uh, that's the way it should be. All right. So any last words for uh, wisdom, if you have any? Go big or go home. Go big or go back home. You'll be a lousy team manager. Come on, you'll be fine. Okay, I'm ready. Oh wait, your skirt's in the trunk. Let me get that. So an absolutely perfect situation for me. This fog layer has just rolled in heavy. The rain's starting to come down. So Justin's about ready to get started. 
I just need to check the car out in case he's left, like, systems unarmed or armed. It's not that I don't trust him. But I don't trust him. Justin, it looks absolutely magical at the top for you. Did he seem kind of gloaty to you? Three, two, one, go! Tell you what, that rain is not helping things out. Oh, it's slippery. As soon as you cross the yellow lines, it's really nasty. Look at he left all that gravel all across the road. Oh, he just got across the center line. I can see he lost a little bit of traction there. Dives in early. Man, I can't even see him. I lost him in the fog. Oh, God, we're heading into the fog now. I can't even see one going. I can't hear him. You think he was quicker than me here? I hope he wasn't quicker than me here. Oh, boy, I can hear the engine really going. Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh man, how was it? <laughs> it was brilliant. I mean, I was driving blind that last top part. It was great, the car did great. All the way up, I'm thinking, am I fast in Townsend? What does he do here? It was pretty cool. Man, right? it was really crazy, because the fog is so thick, and all you can see is those little LED lights piercing through, and then when you came through here, it went quiet for the longest time. I thought you'd gone off. Can you tell I'm all wound up? It's so brilliant. We, we both had our runs now. We don't know the results, but we'll be right back to find out who's buying dinner. We have a good last name. Do you know what Bell, Bells were, though? I don't. Bells were a Scottish fighting clan that yes. headed south, yes. causing mayhem, a little bit of pillaging, a lot of playing with pretty girls. I think they got decimated by some Gauls. Cheerio. Hello, darling. <laughs>